So we are here at shul.com. We're looking at questions on Seuda Shilishit uh, from Rav Musafi. There's uh, two questions here uh, that come up on Doresh Sion. Let's review them. One is Sheila 87700. He says here, uh, He's asking the question, uh, is Seuda Shilishit a, a requirement or not? He says here a person should be very careful to have Sudash Shit and even eat it with a, a portion of Kabitza of bread. The Haino 54 gram lechen. 54 grams. So he says here, in essence, that people made a mistake that because during Siyudah Shilishit, if someone says Bekat Amazon, he doesn't have to go back uh, if he forgets Ritzibah HaChalitzenu. He says that people assumed from this that Mikan Alacha that you didn't have to actually have Siyudah Shishit, that it wasn't a required meal, because in the first two meals, if you miss Ritzei V'achalitzin, you have to go back. He says, that you have to do it. The second, doing another Bracha, in regards, if he forgot Ritzei V'achalitzin, and that's why he was posik. Now in She'elah 30215, he asks, they ask a question there, should you eat Seuda Shilishit in shul or should you eat it at home? Uh, and he, he said, and he, they asking here, So uh, he wants to know, can I eat it in shul while listening to a class? Uh, and then he says that he understood that you should have it at home. So let's take a look at his answer. So Rav Musafi says, and you're going to be at shul listening to the class and what about your wife and children? He said, they never did this in any generation where they just left the wife and children for Sudash Shilishit. He said, they were together in the Beit HaKnesset for Tefillah, that the Seudah and the Torah was taught at home to the family. That's how they always would do it, and that's how Rabbi Musafi is saying to do it. So it really would require an earlier mincha as to it. I'm assuming that Rabbi Musafi would probably be okay if there's no more, if the children are all married and everybody, and the wife is coming to shul. That's probably he probably wouldn't have an issue with that. Here he's talking where you're literally leaving the whole family behind just to go hang out at shul, pray of course, but have to dash yishit and shiur Torah. He says if if that means your kids at home are going to be eating alone. And your wife at home, that, that, go take care of them first. Uh, that's Rabbi Musafi's uh, advice. Baruch Adonai, Amen, Amen.